Well, my friends, so I've been getting really good feedback on just the series that I've been doing where I'm talking about church. And it's really surprising to me. I'm, I'm really happy, you know, that you guys are liking this. So um, appreciate all the comments and the discussions that's going on at the message boards. If you haven't checked out the Sanctuary International message boards, please do that. There's going to be a link at the end of this video. Uh, at the end of every video that I do and there's also a link right here in the description so you can go check that out if you want to have a community to discuss things a little bit more in depth you know than just YouTube it's a bit more personal than YouTube so check that out and uh, I today I want to talk about just how do you like find the place where you belong because I know that there are those of you out there who are still looking for a place where you can belong somewhere that you can call home where you can feel like it's it's like family where you fit in where um, people appreciate you and you appreciate them you know and uh, you know I was looking for that too just as I shared in the last episode and, and it took me a while to find it. Uh, and it, what's really interesting is like just through the, this process, these, this past month that I've been here, it's really interesting the parallels that have been with this church and like a love, romantic type relationship and a marriage. Uh, just like falling in love. Like I shared in the first video that I did, it's called I'm in Love where I talk about this, I, I, I've experienced the same feelings for this church as I have if I would like fall in love with a woman, like those same butterflies, you know, the excitement, the, the fear, even all those things, which I talked about in the first episode. Um, but who you, so it's, it's really interesting, like for me, when I got to this church, I, it was just really easy. Like, I just knew this is the right place. This, I am home now. Like, I don't have to keep looking anymore. It was really, really that simple. And in the past, like, there have been churches where I've, that I've gone to, and that's been great, you know, like, their worship might be awesome, and they're preaching, and it seems like a great community. And I just know, like, I just, you know, there have been times where I'm like, man, God, this would be an awesome place to call my home. And God's like, nope. This is not your home. Um, just as, you know, I've met so many girls. Like, oh, wow, she'd be an awesome, you know, woman to be with. Like, she's got everything. You know, she's smart, beautiful, and she loves the Lord. Like, blah, 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 whatever. But then there's just a piece missing. You know, like, the magic isn't there. The chemistry isn't there. Whatever it is, like, something is missing. And I just know that if I would go for it, you know, I would be settling. And I just can't do that. So it's just interesting that some of these parallels, I almost feel like, I mean, I'm, I'm not there yet where, you know, where I've met the one or whatever you want to call it, but I feel like the Lord's been showing me just how easy and natural it should be. Like, like how do you know when you've met the right person? How do you know, right? That's a question that I think all single people ask themselves, including me. And, uh, like, I really feel like God has shown me through this church that you just know. Like, you just know when you're there. When you, there's the feeling like, man, I just, I just can't stand to be without these people. Like, I was actually planning in the, like, a couple of weeks ago to go somewhere else for about 11 days. I mean, I remember sitting there the first night as I'm hanging out with my friends from church. We're just uh, playing some games, you know, just hanging out, you know, talking. And I just felt pain in my heart to think about, man, I'm gonna have to leave these people in a week, you know, for 11 days, which is not a long time at all. But it was just painful for me. So I actually didn't ended up canceling that trip. Part of it was that reason. There were other reasons as well. But it was just like, wow, this is like, I can imagine this is probably what it must be like if you're going on a trip and you're like married and have kids and you're like, know that you're not gonna be able to see your, your wife or your kids for like 11 days. Like, oh, that's, that's rough, you know? So, um, that's, I haven't really experienced that before. So, if, if you guys are looking for that place to belong and that you can call home, you know, 
that's like your your church, your community, and people. Um, just know that those desires, they're there for a reason. And God wouldn't give you those desires. Uh, like, the, I, what I mean is the desires to find that place, like, and even specific things that you long for in a community. Like, they're there for a reason, you know. And God put them there so that you will look f for those things. And then it just makes it all the, the more special when you're like, oh my gosh, this place actually exists. And uh, maybe for some of you, you're supposed to pioneer something new. That could be part of it, but you're, regardless, you're not supposed to do this alone. You are not supposed to be alone. Like it's all about, it's not so much what we do, honestly. That's just who we're doing it with that matters. So if you're still looking for that place, but, and there's like, there could be the temptation to just like go somewhere just because you feel like you should, you know. If you don't feel like you click with that church, like just don't go there. Don't go there. It's that simple. If you're not passionate about it, you shouldn't do it. It's simple. Now, obviously, it could be that you're really hurt by church, so um, it's going to be really difficult for you, even if it's like a really good church, to connect just because you still carry that hurt. And if you do, go check out uh, Scott on Pastor Bob's channel. He has a podcast called Body Slam where he talks about getting over church hurt um, and his journey in that. So go check that out if that's the case. But Honestly, guys, keep looking, you know, if you, you're still looking for that place, don't settle. There's no reason why you should ever have to settle, whether that's to find a church or what I believe to find a wife or a husband. So, bless you guys.